May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want, within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. Uh, today, what, uh, what I'm going to do is just play for you what I've been working on all day and yesterday, uh, and that is the introduction to the audiobook for Crooked Cucumber, The Life and Sin Teaching of Shunju Suzuki. I have done everything I can, spent way too much time making this audiobook. The next one, I'm just going to zip through. Um, it was a learning experience, you know? First time you do something, right? It's like that. I don't know when it's coming out, when it'll be available. Uh, you know, I just let Shambhala know <laughs> yesterday. I said, okay, uh, you know... I'm just doing this. I'm running it through uh, some tests on the ACX site, which feeds into Audible. Uh, so uh, when I'm confident that it's all okay, it passed passed all the tests so far, but they have deeper tests that I want to try to get to without submitting the book just to get the results, you know, because... It's Shambhala's to submit. I don't know how that's going to work out. We'll find out. But anyway, so I, I let them know I'm just, all I've got to do is the introduction to the audio book and then run it through some audible tests. Uh, show it to uh, a fella here in uh, uh, in Dimpasar. Sonur is part of Dimpasar, really. You know, so I said then it'll be ready to do whatever happens next. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so, bang, they sent me a contract today. I mean, they've sent me one before I talked about it, and, but it was the date that was the problem because I didn't know when I was going to have this thing ready. It took a lot longer than I thought. I just kept going over it. and Also, I was developing the second edition of the book while I was making it. That's what really dragged it out. Uh, you know, working on the transcript and the audio book. Um, hmm. All right. So get right into it after a pause to meditate. So when you hear the bell, if you're of a mind, hit pause and meditate or whatever for as long as you wish. And when you are through, hit unpause and We'll be here to hit the bell, to end the meditation, and to get right into this intro to the audiobook. Welcome to the audiobook for Crooked Cucumber, The Life and Zen Teaching of Shunyu Suzuki, 2nd Edition. Hi, I'm David Chadwick, and I wrote Crooked Cucumber, which was originally published in 1999. I will be narrating the book as well. It's a production of Ruma Puti Studio, located upstairs in our home here in the town of Sunur, on the edge of Dempasar in Bali. I don't need to tell you anything more about myself, because I'm in the book, and you'll learn enough there. I've done a lot of things since the book came out. 
but I never stopped working in this area, collecting and making publicly available material from various sources and doing so with a great deal of help from others. This ongoing project we call CUKE Archives, preserving the legacy of Shinju Suzuki and those whose paths crossed his. And anything else that comes to mind? As the years have ticked by since the book came out, we have learned a good deal more. So what's different about the second edition? With a few exceptions, there aren't new stories added to this narrative, but some had to be rewritten in the light of what we've learned. There are many corrections and clarifications gathered from those who were there back then and keen-eyed readers and from what was learned working with the team that translated the book into Japanese. Also, in-depth fact-checking and further inquiry is a lot easier now than it was before the turn of the century, thanks to the ever-expanding Internet. Not all the changes are corrections. Some things I just wanted to say a little differently, or not say. Mainly, though, it sticks to the book. The difference is between the printed book and this second edition audiobook can be found by going to cuke.com forward slash cc21. That's c-u-k-e dot com forward slash cc21 and choosing changes. The most important one being the meaning of the nickname Suzuki's master called him which became the title of the book. You'll learn about that in the introduction and in the second chapter. Also at cuke.com forward slash cc21 is the back matter for the book, greatly enhanced for the second edition. An index, maps, notes, photos, supplemental materials such as pieces cut from the book due to a length restriction, glossary, bibliography, and many, many people acknowledged as sources of information or for helping to create the book. Like this audiobook, it was a team effort. For instance, with the audiobook, I'd like to thank my co-conspirator, Michael Katz, for suggesting to me that it might be a good idea to do this audiobook. Bill Redican for extensive helpful notes resulting from carefully listening to the audio while checking against the book and the second edition draft transcript. And for their considerable contributions, I'd also like to thank my longtime associate, Peter Ford, ever vigilant Wendy Piercig, Japanese language culture wizard Fred Harriman, energetic Soto Zen and Japanese language scholar Susanna Dwer, gold-eared Anam Darsana of Antita Studio in Dimpasar, audio advisor Rick Sanchez, and my beloved wife and partner Katrinka McKay, and the hard-working folks at Shambhala Publishing who are getting this audiobook out to you via Audible. With a special nod to President, Nico Odysseus, for his initial interest. A bonus herein, not found in the book, will be to hear a brief audio excerpt from one of Suzuki's lectures at the end of each chapter. They are of varying audio quality, having been recorded 50 or more years ago by random students, sometimes on cheap little office cassette recorders but they are nonetheless gems. One nice aspect of hearing his voice now and then is it truly conveys his warmth, humility, and sense of humor. But I added it out as frequent coughs. There are bells used for pleasant punctuation. A deep bell begins and ends each chapter. Two high bells surround my reading of short excerpts from Shinyu Suzuki lectures. These high bells used unless the quote is part of the flow of a paragraph, in which case it will be made obvious he said it. 
These bells were recorded in 1959 by John and Elsie Mitchell at Eiheiji Monastery in Japan, where Suzuki trained as a young man. Elsie appears in the book a couple of times, and there's a good deal more about her in the supplemental material at Goop.com. I got them off a double record album she gave me in the late 1990s called The Way of Eiheiji, Zen Buddhist Ceremony, a two-record box set put out by Folkways Records in 1960 with a 25-page booklet. This album is now available through Smithsonian Folkways Recordings. Details at kook.com. If you notice any glitches in the audiobook or wish to comment, again, just go to kook.com, C-U-K-E.com forward slash CC21. The second edition for Crooked Cucumber is available, at least so far, only in this audiobook. It was done just for you. I sincerely hope you enjoy it. Please pardon me for laughing sometimes and getting a little emotional at others, but I couldn't help it. So here we go. Throughout, I'll be there with you. Reliving the Life and Zen Teaching of Shindu Suzuki May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. David Chadwick, Sanur, July 10th, 2021. The truth, which is truth for us, was the truth for even Shakyamuni Buddha. There's no difference. Okay, that's not the end of this podcast. <laughs> that's the end of the audiobook introduction. But there's really no more to say, is there? It's been nice being with you. Thank you very much. This has been a Guk Audio podcast. I'm DC Puba of Guk Audio and Guk Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Dog at Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear, lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you, and yours, and all of us, a grand awakening. <laughs>